All right, Mopar people, welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. And if you want to know today how much big block Mopar stuff weighs, this will be the video. I've done two other videos like this, and it'll be the third in the series. Let me show you what we are weighing in on here. So here we have a 400 block. It is the 630 casting. Uh, I want to say it's a 74. Let's run around and look. Got a build coming up on that. There you go. February of 74. So we're going to weigh it bare. This block has been decked, I think, just enough to clean it up, like three or three thousandths, or maybe five. Um, decked, finish honed, board 35 thousandths, or whatever it is for the stroker kit. So let's weigh it first. I did figure out with my scale, finally how to put it on pounds. Somebody called me out on that before. So how much does it weigh? Let's zero it. Got four pounds of chain here. And hook it up. Here we are. Got it floating and not touching the engine stand finally. 213.4. And this is supposed to be the second stoutest 400 block besides a 230 block. You may not be able to tell in here, but it's got a little extra meat. Um, according to 440 source, so check that out. And it's got like the burrs and stuff being cleaned up on it. But 213.4 on a bare 400 block. And we can't forget this jewel. This is my 70 model 440 to go on my white Dodge Challenger. It's gonna be built up soon as well. I don't think this is getting a dyno unless y'all start a dyno fund for it. But uh, yeah, it's got some old school Ford's pistons and other stuff going in it. But what we're doing now is just going to uh, pick it up and see how much it weighs versus that 400 block. So this is a 70 model 440 casting number. There you go. 430, 70 model. Very nice. I think it's out of an old C body or something. But, uh, yeah, let's lift it up and see. I've got our scale zeroed out again. Coming up. I believe we are there. And this block has had the same treatment. 222.2 pounds. Uh, it has been torque plate honed. It's been decked, I think, three or five thousand. It's just enough to clean it up. Uh, totally bare block, main caps are on it. This one has been a line honed as well by Mr. Rick Seaman. So she's ready to be built. Let's look at that comparison. If you will recall, that 400 block was 213.4. I hope y'all like my sexy rug over there. Isn't that something? So right at nine pounds difference between the low deck and the high deck or tall deck. That's pretty interesting, I think. Uh, this block is like board the same. I believe it's 30 over as well. So fun times. About Get you about nine pounds less with a low deck and a little bit easier fitment. But I got to have a 440 for my Challenger. So here's probably why you're actually watching the video. Uh, this is our 580 or 78 stroker that I'm going to go through and dyno soon. So it's pretty exciting stuff that does have the front plate on it, uh, aluminum water pump, external oil, single line. So that's a little bit different than the stuff I've done before, but you got to have that with this block. So I'm not sure what the block is. Uh, it said BD. N50, so maybe that's a bulldog. I'll have to research that a little more, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go through this soon, but I wanna know what it weighs. So I've got an engine plate hanging on here with bolts in it. I can tear that, and now I can hook us back up to here and see what she weighs. Also notice this is on a cradle, so I'm gonna have to pop that cradle loose so we can get it free floating here and see exactly what it is. But I'll go ahead and jack up now. Six twenty. I just touched it. Let me get my hand off. Six twenty-eight, six twenty-seven and a half pounds. And there she is, off of the cradle. We are at six thirteen point eight. 
And this is a four and a half inch stroke, and I think it's four, five, 30 now. So it used to be four and a half inch board plus 30 thousandths. Um, got the Victor heads. If you can see them there. There we go. Victor 440 heads. Uh, the Victor, Super Victor intake. And the accessories on the front. So 613.8. Let's compare that to the 508. All right. So literally a nine pound difference between the two blocks, which I think is pretty mind boggling. Um, I had a lot of good guesses under my community uh, tab. So I appreciate everybody for that. I wanted to go back over my other, my previous results of the other engines and their weights. So my first video was about killing the big block swap debate. I had a 406 cast iron crank, um, aluminum Edelbrock heads, aluminum intake, aluminum water pump, and it weighed 515 pounds. So I want to show you this here on our scale or on a chart. So 515 with the 406. My old 408 small block had the Indy RHS heads by their, anyway, I don't, my old 408 small block had cast iron heads. They were the Indy RHS heads and aluminum intake. And yeah, there it was, 529 pounds. So it actually weighed more than the 406 did. The next step up was the 508 stroker that had, I believe that was four and a quarter inch stroke, 440 source kit. It had Indy uh, Max Wedge Port EZ heads and aluminum intake, aluminum water pump housing, full of oil, everything with it. That was 534 pounds. So now here's the big dog. And the comparison was our 572, which is now 580-ish. Uh, that's 613 pounds with this bulldog block. So you might have a similar reading with a mega block or a Cali's block or whatever, KB block. Um, I don't think this includes Hemi stuff. So maybe Rick Seaman will make a video about some weight comparison for Hemi's for us. But otherwise, uh, the 572, 613, which is uh, not quite 100 pounds over the 508. I thought that'd be a, something interesting to show you. And when you're making your consideration on one engine to choose for your car, a lot of people only do that with A-bodies. No one's, I never see anybody really scared to, to uh, except that one guy. Uh, no one's really scared to put the heavier weight engine in a B-body or an E-body because there's a lot more room, a lot more space. But we also got to get some data on what a Gen 3 Hemi weighs soon. So hopefully I can get that figured out for you. Do some other weight comparisons. I appreciate y'all watching. And I got that dude torn down and some good work done today. So hopefully I'll come back for that.